<laughs> I missed it. We're here with the first of the last, the 2024 Maserati Ghibli Modena Ultima Q4. These are the final Maserati Ghibli's you're ever going to see before they are gone forever. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it's a sad day and the weather is cloudy and just windy because it's like a funeral today. The last Maserati Ghibli's have finally hit the lots. What do I mean by that? Well, the 2024 Maserati Ghibli Modena Altima is here in Q4 form. This is the first model for the 2024 model year that we've seen of the Ghibli and this is the last model year we will ever see of the Ghibli as after this, they're gone. Whichever models come to the lot for 2024 in the Ultima flavor, well, that's it. The Ghibli is done for after this year. That means you will not see a 2025 Ghibli whatsoever. You will only see the Ultimas for 2024. Now, here we are with a Levante Ultima behind me here today and a Quattro Porte Ultima. Now, fortunately for those two, they will live on past 2024. This will not, as in this will be going away. The Quattro Porte will go some re undergo some revisions and same for the Levante. So this is bittersweet because this is the first of the last for the Ghibli. And I bought the first Ghibli here at this dealership. And now I'm going to drive the last. I'm here at Maserati Alpha Mayo of Daytona Beach, if you guys didn't already know. And I have some exciting info. Probably by the time this video comes out, I'll be with Maserati USA in Miami doing some cool content for you guys. It's gonna be really cool. I mean, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil it um, if this video comes out before the content comes out, but make sure you follow my social media if you wanna see some behind the scenes stuff of that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be coming pretty soon. So it's gonna be a big Maserati experience for me. And yeah, can't thank Maserati USA enough for it. Now, before we get started on the Ultima, and I think it's pronounced Ultima, not necessarily Ultima like Nissan, but you know, American accent. I'm just going to use that excuse to the day I die. Here we are with the key fob. Now you guys know this key fob very well. It came out with the Ghibli back in 2014 and it is still here. Very classic key fob. Now that it's covered in the silicone to help protect it. But at the same time, I wanted to show it off to you guys because of the fact that, you know, the newer models come with a different key fob like the Gracale, like the Gran Turismo and everything like that. So I want to show you guys that we still have the retro key fob because this is still the same platform as the previous model years. Obviously, if they were to change the platform, they would change the key fob. But this is a, still the same Ghibli that you know it as, still the same classic, very nice key fob. And I think this really started off with the cool key fobs in the Italian game. Now to get a few specs out of the way for anybody who really hasn't seen the Ghibli reviews and is more interested this time around because, well, it's the final models. There's a couple of things I want to tell you, like the trunk space, like the length, width, and everything like that as far as I mentioned. So let me bring that up to you guys really quickly here as well. So the length, 195.7 inches, body width, 76.6 inches, and the body height, 57.5 inches with a wheelbase of 118 inches. Now your luggage capacity is 17.7 cubic feet with the maximum cargo capacity of 17.7 cubic feet as well. And that is going to be for standard seating of five. Now this is a smaller model than the Quattro Porte that we have here. So again, I kind of wanted to iterate that. For anyone who didn't know much about the Ghibli, we haven't had a Ghibli review on the channel in a long time. So I felt like it was important to go over that. Now, and a couple more things to note with the Q4 in this all wheel drive setup. Well, you do have a rack and pinion steering setup. You also have regular suspension tuning. You have gas pressurized shocks. You have front springs, which are coils, multi-link rear suspension. You have the gas pressurized rear shocks as well. And with this eight speed ZF Auto, you also have an ABS and drive line when it comes to traction control. And some more specs to get in your head before we go on a drive. Well, we know this very well. Ferrari derived engine. You guys can kind of discuss in the comments how Ferrari derived is it, but it is Ferrari derived. 
all right twin turbo v6 three liter with this model we know what the blue shield means in the motor in the spec you have 424 horses 428 pound feet of torque and with the sq4 you're looking at a 0 to 60 in about four seconds flat with a top speed of 170 eight miles per hour so this thing moves and again we will be able to hear what all of that sounds like very shortly but again it's, it's going to be crazy letting this go because we know that the natuno engine is taking over from maserati and these are a dime a dozen seeing these engine blocks inside of maserati models these days so in order to have a 2024 to have this you have to have a quattro porte ultima a Levante Ultima or a Ghibli Ultima in order to have this block. So keep that in mind. And that's why this is a little bit more special than it used to be. Now that we got all the specs out of the way, let's get right to it. Um, it's been raining on and off, so the car is filthy. It hasn't been through detail yet. Had to get this right away before it actually got on the lot because I have a feeling this is gonna go quicker than you think. Now, let's talk about this. This is the Modena Q4. This is the only version of the Ghibli you can get unless you get the 334 Ultima, which is the limited edition model. 334, well, that stands for 334 kilometers an hour, which is 208 miles per hour, which makes that version the fastest Maserati Ghibli ever and the fastest sedan in production ever. Yes, the, the Ghibli, the fastest production ever. The 334 Ultima is one mile per hour faster than the Bentley Continental GT Flying Spur, which is 207 miles per hour for the top speed. So, you either get the Modena or you get that. There's no Trofeo in 2024 and there's no GT in 2024. This is the only version you'll see on the channel, on the lots, is the Modena version. All right, that's it. So now this wind noise is probably crazy and it's gonna ruin a lot of the audio at this moment. Again, it's a gloomy day, but let's talk about it. The Ghibli, we know this design language. It's been the same for a while, not the same since 2014. It's we gone some iterations since then but we've known this for probably about the last two three years for the new um setup as it's been like that you know for that time now with that said from fascia we get the full matrix led headlamps and they are in a dark finish which is an option we have on this model we have the big trident up front with the level 2 adas we also have the nice vertical grills with the matte inserts there all right we have the dark finish on the top going across we have the gloss black lip the grill setup which is functional down here as well the big slats on the side and gloss black with the big grill for cooling as well up front and that's it all right we're used to this now the color obviously done in bianco which is a plain gloss white you can only get three colors for the ghibli in 2024 because they're not giving you all this special stuff if the car's on its way out so what are those three colors? Well, you're looking at one, Bianco. The other colors, they are also Nero Absoluto, which is a new black, and Grigio Maratia, which is gray. That's it. Now, for the wheel options, you can see we've seen these wheels before. 20-inch Urano wheels, gloss blacked out. Now, we do have a Nerissimo package on here as well, so that's going to account for that. And there's only three wheel options you can have. 21-inch gloss titano wheels, you have... 20 inch gloss black Urano wheels, which you're seeing here. And you also have 20 inch machine polished to sail wheels. Those are your three wheel options for 2024. You have two caliper colors and you're looking at one, well, red, right? With the white Maserati script. And then you can get black. That's it with these Brembo brakes, drilled rotors and Pirelli tires. So again, the options are going down. We got a couple of different flavors we can do this at, but that's pretty much it. Modena badge, letting you know what we have here today. All right, the signature portholes in the fender as well. Gloss black on the mirror caps, gloss black on the window moldings. The same color for the handles. Yeah, they're body, ma body matched because of that Nerissimo package. All right, so instead of chrome, body match. The sunroof on top, shark fin antenna. The blacked out Maserati Trident in a C pillar here. 
looks good as always and then the boomerang tails in the back that nice finish there the ghibli badge maserati script here all done in a darkened flavor and then you have the q4 badge letting you know that we have the all-wheel drive here as well now the exhaust tips done in the chrome finish with a fake honeycomb grill you guys can kind of see it there hopefully that kind of shows up and then you also have the rear diffuser and gloss black let me see if i can get a better view of the grill and everything there there you go so it can show up again this gloomy weather is not helping take a step back and see it all and it's the same ghibli, ghibli we're used to we know and love same cargo space for the ghibli as well about 13 cubic feet pretty deep back there 60 40 rear folding split these are our mats here 12 volt there cargo net here and underneath our spare tire tire inflate kit our jack and our battery installed under here so when it comes to that fuel economy 2017 25 20 combined city and highway 17 city 25 highway and premium fuel only now if you do some spirited driving well it's probably going to be a little bit lower sport mode you know manual mode everything like that but if you use ice the ice mode button and you use you know cruise control on the highway and stuff you probably pump up those numbers and get better fuel economy it really de depends on your driving habits as always gotta show this off with illumination all right those full led lights with the darkened finish led matrix you can see the switch back turn signal there looks really cool and then you can actually see it this time in the mirror cap because it's darker out the amber turn signal in the mirror cap and then the boomerang tail is all illuminated and you have the fog lamp on as well right there that's your fog light for the rear tails it looks really good all put together all illuminated if you guys haven't already make sure you give the video a big thumbs up once you give the video a like it helps grow the channel and i get more opportunities to get more beautiful cars like the final maserati ghiblis to hit the lot behind me here today now before we hop in soft closed doors gotta love that the b pillar it stays and you have dual pane glass windows for a little bit of sound deadening and no hinge preset for your door you can open this wherever you want now let's talk about the interior maserati side sill done in aluminum you have rubber pedals which i would have loved to see aluminum right off the bat but they're there and you know maserati kind of indentation there we also have on the seat controls aluminum with the gloss black and then when you look at the door paneling here you get a good look at what this interior is all about this is an option that Mako Twill carbon uh, I can't even say it right the Mako Twill carbon fiber trim is an option it looks beautiful right aluminum going throughout neo leather going throughout Rosso stitching going throughout this is our flavor for today and it matches as far as symmetry when it goes to the exterior now look at the uh, seats natural drill leather seats perforated all right ventilated and heated so you get cooled and heated seats with the trident done in rosso there and the stitching all throughout as well these sports seats are it look at how wide they are they are super comfortable and i love them now inside the ghibli it's a little different than the quattro porte because the quattro porte where you see aluminum in the ghibli is chrome there so it's a little bit more sporty in the ghibli versus the luxuriousness in the quattro porte but you guys have seen this before let's close up the door go to this side because i'm i'm so torn with and, and, and confused at times getting a new maserati is where the button the start buttons on the steering wheel because it's been redesigned versus going over here so if you guys remember to start it in sport you got to turn everything on because it's electronic press the sport mode button i'm going to put my foot on the brake and then i'm going to start it and you're going to see it stays in sport mode with it illuminated all right so if you want to start it louder just had to give you that tip again to start it in sport mode that way um now there's not much to say here because we know this car very well um again for people who are new here you definitely want to check out some of my deeper dive ghibli reviews but what we have here today is what i can show you on the left lighting controls all right our speedo controls as far as lighting goes just lighting 
our stop stop button as you saw little compartment here you can put your license registration all those documents there important documents in case you get caught doing some speed spirited driving in the maserati <laughs> big leather wrapped steering wheel all right perforated leather on the sides maserati insignia there column mounted power shifters because italians all right and they're huge per usual but sensational click when you do click those also you have the Maserati Trident. Oh, I already said that. But you also have the driver assistance controls on the left. You have some hands-free controls on the right. Menu control button here to go through your TFT screen, which I'll show you in just a second. On the back of the steering wheel, you have radio controls, your hotkeys for volume and to change the track. All right, so they're on both sides, so you can do that. Now, the Speedo. You saw how I was changing the information, how I can change that in the center here just by pressing it in and up and down. So you guys can see that. There's a few different screens here. Like if I were to go to this one, there's different screens. Cause you can see the three dots on the bottom to show that. Um, and then analog gauges. I mean, that's cool, right? You know, we're at a fully digital world with the new Maseratis. So the fact that we have analog gauges is pretty cool because you can see those dials sweep up and down when you're banging through the gears. So those are pretty self-explanatory. Same as the Maserati clock here. We know that, we know that very well, analog clock, not digital like in the new Maseratis, but like the older style. The Uconnect 5 system is the same across all models of Maseratis. They've been like this for a while, therefore I can get it to accept. They've been like this for a while, so I think since 2021. So you know this infotainment well, if you've seen in any Maserati since 2021, if you've seen any Stellantis product since 2021, back when it was FCA, I believe, um, or it just had turned on Stellantis. You know this very well, very intuitive, very clean, looks really good. Now we do have a couple of things I'm gonna show you, like on your vehicle screen here, where you can do your rear sunshade. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, there it goes, goes up. And I can also put it down there. Also the surround view camera, because we have level two ADAS, so you can see the Quattro Porte back there, the Ultima 2024 as well. So really cool to be able to do that view as well. Again, all the driver assistance, everything you need is here. But we do have physical buttons. We have our climate control physical buttons here. All right, underneath we have a wireless charger to pop underneath there. We also have USB 2.0 and USB-C under there as well when it comes to charging. We have our cup holders here with a big carbon fiber macro twirl trim. For the centerpiece, we have our HB ZF transmission, dual, so you can do manual mode that way or just do your shifting this way or keep it in automatic, all right? You also have traction off, hazard buttons, start stop button, ice mode, which is gonna put you in your best fuel economy, sport mode, which is gonna open up those valves, which we like, all right? And then your electric parking brake, your radio controls here, or you can just do your you entertainment controls, you know, for you connecting everything there. Extra storage right here. And then if you press the Chrome button, you're gonna get the split armrest. And that's gonna show you your cup holders underneath there. And these are climate controlled. Yep, if I hit that, AC comes flowing through to keep your espressos cold, cause Italians, all right. Now, you can see leather throughout the dash on the glove box. You can see the Rosso stitching going all throughout as well. The nice soft touch for the headliner and the uh, sunroof up there as well. All looks pretty good when put together. Again, this is a great place. I really want to show it off for the newbies. You guys know a lot about this, so if you want to do any deeper dives, definitely check out my other Ghibli videos. But this is this is a great thing to be in, and uh, yeah, we got to take this out for a spin. Uh, let's go check out the back. Now, I'm glad um, we didn't go out to the back um, and look at the back seats yet because it started to rain some more, but it's good because I forgot some information I want to tell you guys, so that's perfect. Let's talk about the trims in the interior because I've been telling you the options that you can get on the exterior as far as the paint and wheels and stuff, but let's talk about the interior because there's only one interior color you can get and you're looking at it. Black with the roll cell stitching. Every Ultima, just like the Levante and Quattroporte, come with one exterior choice, or sorry, interior choice, and that's this here. Every one of them will have the same interior. Also, for the interior trim for the Ghibli, you're looking at black piano wood trim, you're looking at open pour radical wood trim, or you're looking at this gloss carbon fiber twill. Three options. There's a, there's a pattern here. 
three options for the exterior paint, three options for the wheels, and three options for the trim and the interior. Now there's only one package you can get for this model, for the Ultima, and we're looking at it, well, we were. The Larissimo package is the only package you can get, but you can get individual options, which you'll see on the sticker as well. Those options are the dark finish LED headlamps, the 20 inch gloss black Urano wheels, the 20 inch machine polish wheels, the all season tires, also the gloss black or red calipers depending on sky hook for the suspension that's an option open pore trim we talked about the gloss black carbon fiber, carbon fiber trim we talked about sport pedals yeah we don't got them but that's an option you can also get the heated windshield washer nozzles and the rear armrest with the illumination that's it those are the only options you can get the only package you can get and the only trim levels with interior you can get for the Ultima. Now let's take a look at the rear because it's the same flavor in the back as up front. Same spec. As you guys can see, I failed to mention the Harman Kardon sound system, which you will see in the speakers in the back as you will up front. All right, so it looks really good per usual. Same bucket seats, perforated leather. Now it's not cooled in the back, but it is heated in the back. You do also get the Trident done and Rosso as well back here. So again, it looks so good just like that. You will see the heated seating controls here. So, you know, you know I went lying and it was just heated but not cooled, but that is fine. You also have the rear sunshade control back here as well. So you can control it from the front and control it from the back. Now in the center, you do have, yes, cup holders and extra storage back here as well. So overall, it's a great place to be Per usual back behind the wheel of a Ghibli. Now, this is nostalgic for me, um, and there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to do with how perfect this moment is because the Ghibli is special to me for many ways. And now I'm back behind the wheel of one. I bought the first one from the Daytona dealership, it wasn't even a Maserati dealership at the time, it was a Fiat dealership. I bought the first. Ghibli that came in in 2014 in December and now I'm behind the wheel and driving the first last Ghibli going to this dealership these are the last of the 2024 models or sorry these are the last of the Ghibli's coming ever the last Ghibli's ever and these are the this is the first of those last models here in Daytona and just the timing is just incredible um, to be able to buy the first one to be able to drive the first last one it's end of an era and it's crazy because you know there's been such a love-hate relationship with the Ghibli even from my side I know a lot of internet hate and all that kind of stuff and you know the trolls and everything but you know obviously when I first got it I had a lot of issues with it because it was the first model you had to troubleshoot a lot of things um, but then as the Ghibli progressed and got better um, in many different ways it still was never perfect and it was not what Maseratis are today uh, when you look at the Gracale and you look at the MC20 and everything like that but it was still special because it started it all for what Maserati is you know today and um, you know Maserati learned a lot after chasing BMW 5 Series numbers they learned to I guess from the Ghibli what they shouldn't do and it what it's what made them today to where they're you know they had their comeback because the Ghibli was like the guinea pig on oh let's try doing this and they did and it didn't necessarily work how they wanted it to so then now it made them better you know those mistakes made them better and uh, the, all the traffic guys I want to take off for you guys and, and start getting some blips um, but yeah it made them better and now here we are today so this is really special and important to be able to be behind the wheel of a Ghibli again um, knowing that they're gonna be no more the Quattro Porte is taking over they're doing a couple of things with that um, not everything I'm able to share but um, yeah so we're in manual mode we finally can go all this traffic and let's enjoy it I missed it. 
Yeah, I'll be the port. It is actually raining. What is going on here, guys? Um, raining on my parade. Um, so it's what you know from the Ghibli, from what you've known from the past years. Oh, wow, that engine, that three liter V6. We know how it sounds and we appreciate it a lot more now because we know that this Ferrari derived engine is not what it is, you know, going to be in the future. We know that we appreciate the Natuno engine, but it does not have the soundtrack that this engine has. And I'll prove it to you by doing this. How much is it going to cost you to get into the 2024 Ghibli Ultima and be a part of Maserati history before it is all over? Well, MSRP for this model starts, and I mentioned it, at $109,500. After the additional options we have on this specific model, you're looking at $114,095. That's after the $1,195 destination and the $300 preparation and delivery. So how did we get here? What did we get? What did we put on this car in order to get to this price point? Well, before we get to that, 
your basic warranty is four years 50,000 miles and you have 24 7 roadside assistance so don't be too afraid to get this thing on the road now a couple options just a few four hundred dollars for the full led headlamp dark finish you have sixteen hundred dollars for the carbon fiber macro twirl trim and you have eleven hundred dollars for the nerissimo black pack that's it those are the three options that have been added for this and other than that everything else comes standard again for the ultima they are loading these things up because it's like hey let's get it all out here let's put our last and best foot forward and put all the good stuff in these cars for the final models on the road the 2024s will have everything on them and then this is a little bit of customization for you to add options but they come loaded up so speaking of that here's everything you guys need to see in order to see what comes with the ultimus for the 2024 model year standard standard here now it's very ironic and i don't know if you guys caught this yet but standard content did you see it keep looking zoom in pause it see everything you need to see what's the wheel size that comes standard all right did you see it 21 inch wheels come standard but for the nerissimo package it gives you the urano wheels which are 20 inches so it kind of downgraded the size of the wheel because the urano wheels only come in 20 inches when you get the nerissimo pack and all season tires uh so that's kind of funny that it comes standard with 21s but we have 20s on this model so it's just something that you know specific to this which was kind of funny um but yeah this is everything this is it guys this is this is your maserati ghibli modena ultima q4 and wow the last few ghiblis i'm going to review is going to be it wow so at one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars, what's the final maserati ghibli models worth to you 109,000 to start with a few options we're at 114 but knowing what this model represents the sound it makes the driving experience everything you know about it are you in love with the ghibli ultima q4 for the 2024 model year drop those comments down below what do you guys think about it is it reminiscent is it some nostalgia for you guys hearing it and me getting behind the wheel of the model that really started off this channel now with that said if you guys want to help further support the channel check the links down in the description below you guys can also get the ron's rise merch as well and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video with that said you guys be blessed have a great day we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise video peace